want me now Then I want me to win But now they proud Hey guys, what's up? It's Mercedes Michelle. Welcome to my channel. If you are new and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. So today we are going to be discussing credit and credit scores. This is a getting started with credit type of video. It's not a, it may be beneficial for those who already established credit and kind of messed it up and trying to get back on track but for the most part this is just someone who basically has no credit and is getting started on their credit so first and foremost a lot of us don't know how credit affects us most of the time we just don't even believe we need it if we have money but some things that we don't know is that credit affects our Credit affects us in different ways. It's not just to buy a house. It's not just to finance a car. It's not just to get a credit card. If you use, if you have a car and you need car insurance because it's a state requirement, your insurance premium is based on your credit score. It does play a factor. I don't know how big or how small, but it does dictate your premium. It also plays a role in when you go and you go and rent a house or rent an apartment they look at your credit score your credit score determines how much you're going to have to pay down as a deposit to rent that apartment or rent that home so you don't want to be out here paying way more money than you have to be paying for things like car insurance because car insurance in itself is already expensive and when you play and you put poor credit as a factor to determine how much I'm going to pay is going to make it even more expensive. So I'm pretty sure there's other things that your credit score affects directly as well. I'm just using those as some examples. So it's not just about financing cars and houses and, you know, getting credit cards. It affects you monthly on how much you're paying on certain things. So we got that out the way. So we know we do need a decent credit score if we want to pay decent prices for certain things. So starting off, the first thing I did at 18 was I got a credit card through my bank. At the time, I was banking with Wells Fargo. I had opened an account with them when I was 16. When I turned 16, I got my first job. And that's where my checks were being deposited to that bank. They offered me a credit card. It was only a $300 limit, but at the age of 18, that's all I needed. So I got that credit card. That was my first credit card that I could just use anywhere. And I was someone who would spend and pay, spend, pay. Like I would pay it off as soon as possible because I knew that it was important for me not to go crazy with credit and spend money that I didn't have. So at 18, I already knew if I'm going to get a credit card, I'll get it, but I'm going to pay it off. Because at first I was like, no, I don't want a credit card. I don't want a credit card. I don't want a credit card. But then I was like, okay, so if I get it, I automatically have to pay this card off. And that's what I did. And I did that for at least two years with that card. Now, in the meantime, I did open up other accounts. So after I had that credit card through my bank, I ended up getting a Walmart card because I started working at Walmart and um, I just had applied for a card. And it was the Walmart store card at the time and I believe my balance was about $750. That's how much they approved me for. And I was like, Walmart, shoot, you can buy everything you can buy groceries you can buy home stuff you can buy anything you need at walmart gas you can buy everything so i was like yes i need this and i was a college student so that walmart car really got me through some hard times so i opened up a walmart card and it was their store card at the time now i have their mastercard where you can go anywhere it doesn't have to be walmart you can use the card anywhere so certain places when I used to go, they'd be like, you want to apply for a credit card, da, da, da. And I used to be like, no, I'm not going to get approved. I'm not going to get approved. And I did that at Walmart and I ended up getting approved. So yeah, so now I had two cards and 
at this time I was going through something with Wells Fargo and I was kind of over them. First and foremost, I was in a small town that only had Chase Bank at the time. They did not have a Wells Fargo and every time I needed to go to the bank, I had to wait till I went home to go to a Wells Fargo and that was just getting annoying. So I ended up doing away with Wells Fargo because they had did it was like the last straw with them they did something with my credit card they charged me like an extra fee or something that i knew nothing about and i ended up counseling my credit card counseling my bank and i moved on to chase bank and yeah that was that so but that was my first credit card they were the first ones to give me a credit card and to trust me with that money <laughs> or should i say trust to make money off of me because that's basically what it is so now I have this Walmart card and it's literally I feel like it's a major credit card because you can literally buy anything with it on but at Walmart because Walmart has everything at this time you guys I was not looking at my credit credit score to be honest I didn't look at my credit score um, the only time I knew what my credit score was was when 19 i think that's the first time i looked at my credit score when i was 19. so 18 i didn't know how this credit card with wells fargo had helped me or affected me as far as my credit went i was not paying attention then i got the walmart card so i, I assumed that it was doing something because a lot of people don't they say don't get approved for walmart credit cards so moving forward i ended up getting another credit card for a jewelry um, I bought this ring on credit. I wanted a diamond ring. I don't know what it was. I was just obsessed with buying a diamond ring. So I ended up getting a jewelry credit card and it was like 0% interest rate for this amount of time. And it was for like $3,000. I was like, okay, now I'm 18. Y'all trusting me with this type of money. Like y'all really, y'all really try me. But I'm not a big jewelry person, so it really didn't matter. I literally just wanted this ring. I was going to pay cash, but he was like, you know, you can get the credit card, 0% interest rate, blah, 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 blah. So I did the credit card, and I ended up paying off my credit card within. So I ended up paying off that card in time, so I didn't get any zero, no interest on it, and I wasn't using it. So now now i've had three cards i'm only i only have two open accounts because i closed the wells fargo and then i ended up just just telling you guys how i built up my credit i ended up getting a macy's card um it was only like a 300 hundred dollar limit they tried me they tried me all these other people was giving me these limits but y'all gonna give me this limit okay okay i didn't like macy's anyway so i didn't keep that card open for long at all so, I ended up getting a Macy's card, and then Walmart ended up transferring my Walmart store card to their Walmart MasterCard, and they gave me a, I don't know if it was before I financed my card or after, I'm not sure, so let me hold off on that. I then got another... I then got another credit card and this time I got a TJ Maxx card and I thought that I was applying for the store card but they ended up approving me for their MasterCard. So TJ Maxx is just like Capital One, American Express, all the major credit cards. You can use the card anywhere. It's just TJ Maxx is who's over or whoever they bank through or work with. That's who's over one of my credit cards. And you can spend it anywhere, you can go anywhere. It doesn't just have to be TJ Maxx or their associates, Marshalls, Home Goods. Go to Walmart and use your TJ Maxx card. Um, so it's a MasterCard, you can use it anywhere. So they ended up giving me their credit card instead of their store card, which I thought that I was applying for, but whatever. So I ended up getting that card and it was like my major credit card because everywhere else was like department stores at this time because I had closed Wells Fargo. So everywhere else was still like department stores so it wasn't like I could use them for anything, trips, vacations, none of that. So this was the time where I was like really learning 
to not max out my credit card because they had gave me a high gave me in the thousands it wasn't like three thousand it was under three thousand so I was building up my credit with these credit cards pretty much but the only thing that was really holding me back was the longevity of my credit history I didn't have credit for a long time because I'm I'm just 18 19 now and I've only had credit for pretty much like a year probably six months a year and six months so credit history affects you and, and it's nothing you can do about it like I'm only 18 I can't you know like what do you want me to do so my mom had found out about authorized users and being able to help you know your kids and build their credit by putting them on one of your credit cards we didn't know exactly how it worked she just knew that I didn't have to have one of her credit cards to do it so she was like huh I'm going to put you on my credit card. I've been having this credit card for like 15 years and it's always been in good standing. So it's going to look real good on your credit report. And they said it's going to help build your credit. So I was like, okay. I mean, my mom still had all my information. She like, she had birth to social security. She didn't need nothing for me. So I was just like, okay. You know, and it wasn't like I needed to have a credit card. It wasn't like I was buying my own, getting another credit card or applying for one in my name. It was none of that. It was just her putting me on a credit card that she had had for like 15 years. So that 15 years coming on to my accounts that were only like a year and six months old actually looked great um on my report because i'm only 18 19 and i believe they take an average out all of them so it didn't look like i had credit for 15 years but it helped my average of his of credit history it averaged it out a little better than what most 18 19 year olds credit history may look like so once she did that, um, I believe it was only for like a couple of months. It was like six months or so. And then I was off because it wasn't something she had to do continuously. She just did it to see if it was going to help me. And it wasn't for any type of reason. I wasn't trying to buy a house or a car or anything. She just did it just because. So if you have kids and they're kind of trying to build their credit and you have like a really good credit that you've had for a long time, I would definitely recommend Helping them out, I definitely plan to do it if it's still around when my daughter is of age or when it's necessary for her. I definitely plan on doing that for her. Fast forward, junior college, I'm finishing up my associate's degree and I am so focused on getting a new car. Why? I don't know. I had a good car, cash, paid for. I had an Impala, I think it was like a 20 2009 it was the new body style i had always wanted an impala since i was a little girl but i wanted the old body style but ended up getting a new body style but now they have a newer body style but whatever nothing was wrong with the car i just wanted a new car i felt like i was in my prime i was doing good for myself i'm about to finish my associate's degree you know i've been working I feel like I deserve to get a car and the car when it was a Mercedes I just had to have a Mercedes because my name was Mercedes yeah I know how cliche but no Mercedes was my dream car like I felt like I had to have a Mercedes so one day my mom and them were going to look at cars um, at a park place dealership and me just like I want to go, you know, just to look. I don't, I'm not planning on buying anything or financing anything. I just want to look and see what I need to do in order to be able to afford one of these cards. So we get there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have, I have to have one of these cards. I have to have one of these cards. What do I need to do to get one of these cards? I want a Mercedes. So we test drive a C300 and I'm like, this is perfect for me. It's small, it's, it's perfect for me. This is all I need, this is what I need. And so, you know how car salesmen are like, oh, you know, you know, let's see what we can do. Let's see, no, you know, I'm, I know I'm not gonna be able to get it by myself. I know I'm gonna need a co-sign. I know this, that, and the other, so. We went home that day and I was just like stuck on 
getting a Mercedes. Like, I was stuck on it. Like, I was telling mom, like, I want it, I want it, blah, blah, blah. like, I wanted that car. So, mom was like, okay, well, post your car for sale. And I'm like, okay. I didn't think nobody was going to, like, hit me up for it or anything i posted my car on craigslist and literally the next day and i posted it for like a high amount because i didn't think nobody was gonna like try to get it because i was like kind of torn in between the two if i get this new car if i sell my car am i going to get a new car or i'm gonna be stuck without a car so I end up selling my car the next day y'all <laughs> Now I'm like, okay, stuff just got real because I don't even know if I'm approved for this Mercedes. I don't even know if I can get this car in my own name with no cosigner. Like, what am I doing? So, go back to the dealership and I'm like, I want that car. At this time, I had just started working for Chase. Um, like I said, I, I finished school. I'm, I'm working for Chase now. And... Um, I'm working for the auto finance department and I see this stuff every day and I'm like am I gonna get approved how am I gonna get approved what the, the, I'm 19 trying to buy a Mercedes like I'm like no they're not gonna approve me they're not gonna approve me so <clears throat> I ended up putting down like all the money that I sold my car for I put it down as a down payment on the car and I ended up getting approved with JP Morgan um, to finance my vehicle. I believe I had a 6% interest rate. And that's kind of high. Um, but remember, I'm 19. I was 19 in my credit history. Even though my mom helped me with that 15 year, it just still had to average out. And I still did not have credit for that long. So... JP Morgan approved me for a 6% interest rate. My payments were only like 200 and some dollars for a freaking Mercedes. So I was like, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So I ended up purchasing the Mercedes and that's when I found out my credit score was 743. 742, 743, one of them. <clears throat> but even though I had that high credit score, bank lenders had to look at my age they had to look at my history and i didn't have that much history for them to look at so i still got kind of a high interest rate even though my score was that good that's kind of how the dealership explained it to me um and my mom was trying to explain to me like you got a good score it's just the fact that history is not there they don't know how you really make your payments they don't know um, how consistent you are they just see a couple of accounts but they want to see a lot of accounts and at that time I only had like two three three accounts because I had cl been closing the other ones like the jewelry card closed automatically because I just wasn't buying anything else and they closed it Macy's closed there because I wasn't buying anything and they were charging like a two dollar hidden fee up in there and yeah, so then I just had TJ Maxx, Walmart, and that's all I had. That's all I had. I only had those two cars, and then the other ones were closed. So, yeah. So, doing all of that, making my payments on time, cannot stress that enough. I made my payments on time or before they were due. I paid off my balance a lot of times. Um... At this time, I was, like, consistent. I wasn't letting my balance build up. Anytime that I would make a purchase, I just used the credit card. But I knew I either had the money coming or I already had the money. So, I was very consistent on making my payments. I kept them on auto draft because I was in college. My mind was very forgetful to be so young. So, I just made sure that I was making my payments and making them on time. And my mom helping me with that process of becoming an authorized user also helped my credit score so if you have anyone who would do that for you i would do it but yeah you guys that's kind of my story on the process i took personally i'm not saying if you do that it'll work out the same everybody's walk is different it, it takes discipline it takes ownership of 
having these bills and being responsible with those bills you know it's money but it's truly not your money so you have to be responsible you have to know that if I'm going to spend $300 on this credit card, I better have $300 coming in to pay it off. Because if you don't, that interest rate just starts building up and it starts coming for you. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's kind of what I did to build up my credit at such a young age. I don't know exactly what all helped me or what didn't help me or when I was getting hit negatively, positive. Like, I don't know any of that because I did not look at my credit score until I financed my car. So, FYI. Um, and I don't know if it was after I financed. I feel like it was after I financed my car, my credit score was 743. It may not have been during the time I financed my car. FYI, I just know once I financed that car, I had a 743 credit score. I don't remember if it was before or after because I didn't pay attention. But now I look at my credit score like almost every month. So yeah, um, I can tell you guys how I'm trying to rebuild my credit if you guys want to see that video because I'm definitely not at 743 credit score anymore just due to poor choices bad habits and yeah but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I kind of hope you learned something from it gained some information but let me know if you want to see how I plan to rebuild my credit and if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys